And on this video, I'm going to show you the activation and setup of the Kim Volen Bidirectional Scanner KA Elite KA Pro. And as always, I'd like to remind you that I have placed a link in the description down below to the scanner in case you'd like to get one. It's actually quite nice, features a heavy duty kickstand and also regularization on the case for drop protection. Now, towards the top of the unit, there are several ports, including a full size USB port and also a USB C port. Now, before I begin, setup and activation i'm gonna want to charge the scanner using this port until the battery is 100 percent and then i'm gonna hold down the power button for about three seconds and that is gonna turn on the scanner next we are presented with the language selection screen and there is quite a bit of languages to choose from on this scanner i'm gonna go ahead and leave this on the default now we're presented with the wi-fi selection screen find your wi-fi enter the password and then select next next up is gonna be time zone and here here you get to select where you are located at that way the scanner can pull the correct date and time information once you select the time zone you're in hit next now you are presented with the term screen so here you want to review those terms and once you review those terms you want to check off agree terms and then hit next now you're presented with the main screen however you need a username and password to get in if you have one you can go ahead and enter that if you don't you can use this register icon to register register for a new account and for the account you're going to want to create a username a password you're going to enter your email and then you're going to tap captcha they're going to send you a verification code to your email and then you'll enter the verification here where it says verification code and then you'll tap register and now you get to the activation screen where you enter the serial number for your scanner and the activation code and where did you get that information from well they include this with the scanner which has both the serial number and your activation and assuming they information you enter is correct and you are now presented with the congratulations this scanner is ready to use i'm going to go ahead and hit confirm and you're probably going to be presented with this screen which shows you that there is new software available so i'm going to go to download so we can go ahead and update that and once the scanner is fully updated it's likely going to return you to the main screen however you can always double check if the software was updated by going into settings then scrolling down going into settings one more time and this is the main update for the entire system system it shows you the current version you can tap on here and it can check if you have the latest version or if you need an update next up is going to be upgrade and this shows you the updates that are available for the scanner you can see that there are two tabs this tab right here shows you what's already updated and this one shows you what's available for updates and here's a couple ways to do the updates you can download the updates individually or my preferred way is just to hit upgrade and that's gonna update all of them for you automatically. And while we wait for the scanner to fully update, let's talk about why would you wanna selectively only download certain updates. Well, perhaps you don't own any Land Rovers, so you may not wanna download that one, that way you save space on the scanner. But in my opinion, there is plenty of space on here and it's a lot easier instead of selecting only which updates that I want, just to hit that upgrade button and that allow all of them, that way if for some reason you do happen to run into a car that you were not planning to perhaps the Subaru all of a sudden shows up at your place then you do have the latest version of the software to diagnose it with and while you're in this screen let's continue setting this up screen off time if you want the screen to time out to preserve battery here you can select when you want that screen to time out I actually like to select never so my screen stays on all the time and then I just control it with the power button on the top and there's a couple other setup options in here time format can be changed between military time or a.m. p.m. time and also the unit of measures between imperial or metric depending on which one you prefer and the last thing that I like to set up is by going to the prior screen and then if I go up you'll find technicians management and here's where you can add additional mechanics basically technicians by name that way you can track who's working on what vehicle especially if this scanner is going to be used by multiple people that is convenient also if you scroll down there is the business information section where you can enter your business name address phone number and typically this helps to have this information show up on the reports especially if you're gonna give that to a customer you could even upload your picture typically people put their company logo on there and finally under customer management here's where you can begin to add customers and also the information for the vehicles that they 
own and that you're working on. And the last two things that I wanna show you are very important and they are in regards to clearing data from this scanner or resetting it to its defaults. Let's take a look at a clear VCI data. This is gonna delete all the downloaded software, all the diagnostic records, all the user settings, and anything that's associated with this VCI and then restart the app. This is pretty aggressive. I will be very careful if you try to use this option. I personally do not recommend that you use this option unless directed by the support team, the technical support team at King Boland. But there is even a one more, even more aggressive setting on their settings. If I go down here, you can see this option right here, restore factory settings. And if you tap that, as you can see, this is gonna erase all the data from the device internal storage, including system data, app data, settings, downloaded software, photos, videos, user data, a ton of stuff. Again, extremely aggressive. I would not recommend that you use this function unless you really know what you're doing or unless you are directed to do so by the tech support team at Kim Volen. Again, just so you make sure that you don't break your tablet or lose something important on the scanner. Now there is a third way to delete data from this device and that is done with the clear data option, which appears to be less aggressive than the other option I showed you earlier, because this is only gonna clear the data from the application, such as the settings, the account login, database and application data. Again, if you do use this, be extremely careful that you know your account login and you know your user password and that you are basically accepting the risk that comes with clearing data of the scanner. You could potentially find yourself in trouble, especially if it's working. I do not recommend that you use any of the clear data options unless, again, directed to do so by King Bolin. And a quick final bonus tip is that there is a drop down menu if you swipe from the top, giving you quick access to turn off or on the Wi Fi or the Bluetooth, but also these two icons right here. The very first one enables a screen recorder, and the second one enables a screenshot icon. You can turn those off or on if you want to have them in your screen and they're actually floating icons so you can drag them and position them anywhere that you want and you also have a quick shortcut to the built-in camera screen orientation brightness adjustment and volume adjustment as well. And that completes the activation and setup for this scanner. It does have several other cool upgrades available for it, including advanced service functions, which I cover on my full review video for it. If you guys wanna check that video out, I'll put a link to it in the description down below, along with a link to the scanner in case you guys wanna get one for yourself. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.